step seven through nine of the Six Sigma uh, analysis, we're changing the file right now, okay? So I'm trying to get you to look at the injury lost days, uh, and that's the injury lost days. That's on the work loss data sheet, okay? So once again, injury lost days is the name of the workbook, and it's on the worksheet here um, of work loss. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a stratification, which is nothing more than a pivot table and I'm interested in the percent of days by month. So I have percent here, and I already have month set up over here. So let's go ahead and select our data so we can do our pivot table. So we'll go down and select all of this information here. Let's go up, we're gonna insert a pivot table. I've already selected the data. Let's put it in a new worksheet. We'll click OK. We said what we're interested in is months, left click, drag it down to rows, and then we're interested in percent. I'm going to left click and bring it down here. Now look what happens when it brings in this, this uh, percent. It brought it in as a sum, and you don't really want a sum, you really want an average. What's the average number of people that were out each month? So if I left click on the, the little carrot here and go to value field settings, it says, what do you want to look at? Well, I want to look at average. Okay, click OK. And now I'm going to go, you know what, let me just go ahead and, we've talked about this before, let's take and copy our data. And let's just do a paste special real quick so that we don't have to mess with what's inside that there. So this is month. This is percent. And let's go ahead and shift this. Let's change this to where it makes sense. This is percent. Let's change it to a percent. And let's go ahead and increase the, the value to where we can see, you know, really what's going on. We're shooting for 1%, but what we ended up getting is, as you can see here, we're, we're much bigger than 1%. All right. So that takes care of our scatter plot, I mean, our stratification based on month. Next it says, let's look at a scatter plot of the percent days lost by day, uh, and we're going to still stay on this injury uh, lost days in here, and we're going to do a scatter plot and a trend line. What that's asking us to do now is regular scatter plot, trend line. Well, here's the month, here's the percentage. Let's let's make this where it's easier to deal with. All right, let's go ahead and copy this. Um, and we can, once again, I could show, we could go through and, and look at how to get rid of information, but let's just copy it. All right, I copied it. I'm going to create a new page for us to work with. I'm just going to do a, I'm just going to do a, a paste special, bring it in here. All of the information's there, Oop. but you can see whenever it did a paste special, uh, it changed our dates. Um, it changed it to a number, so let's go back and switch this back over to uh, a date. Oop, I did the wrong thing there. Sorry. It is a regular account. Um, let's do a short date. That'll work. All right, so there's my days. Here's my percentage. Let's shift this thing back over to a percent. Increase it by one. All my data is saved from back over here in this original sheet. What I want to do is I really want a scatter plot of just this column and this column. So let's take, let's just delete these columns, okay? So now I, now I have exactly what Excel wants to see. I have two columns side by side. I'm going to select my data. Let's do an insert. We'll do a scatter plot. Dates are along the bottom. Percentages here on the right. And then it said that we want to insert a trend line. So if I right click anywhere in this, I can add a trend line. And when the trend line comes in, we want it to be a regular linear trend line. We want to display the equation on the chart and we want to display the R squared on it. Okay. Here's what this is telling me. It says that my R squared is the amount of variance that's explained 
by this line going through it. Only 18%. That's not huge, but it does show that there, I mean, it, there is a pattern here. It does look like it's going up. Okay, let's go and let's take a look now at, let's take a look at what it tells me to do next. It says let's do a scatter plot of the percent of days lost by month. That was this chart. So if we come here and we insert scatter plot. Oh, now look at this line, the way it pops up. I'm going to do a right click of one of the data points. I'm going to add a trend line. It's going to go ahead and be linear. Show me the equation and show me the R squared value. Okay, we pull that up. The R squared now is above 0.5, which means it's above 50% of the variance in the percentage is due just to the month. Okay, as a matter of fact, Almost 88% of the variance that we have over here in the percent is due to the is due to time. Also means that every month we're going up. And, and see, this is this is not listed as uh, the percentage doesn't pop up easily there. We're going up almost 0.2. Right now it's 0.16 percent a month. You see this? It's going up. We have to do something. There's a problem here. And that is how you're going to do the scatter plot and trend line. Okay? Good luck. I look forward to seeing your analysis.